Hi, welcome to the channel and to our growing community. And thanks to all the new subscribers and for all your comments and emails. And thanks to those who purchased my song. I thought this was a much better way than using Patreon or putting ads on my channel. This way you can get something too. Any money raised from my music, which you can find on iTunes or Apple Music, I'll leave a link in the description below, will go towards editing software licenses and any PC upgrades for better processing, as I'm doing this all from my laptop, as well as sound recording hardware, music sale licenses, plus other relevant costs. But I'll keep going as long as you guys want me to. With a great range of videos showing UFOs and anomalous things, and always wisdom knowledge teachings, and of course, Samton music videos, to lighten things up a bit. So anyway, the topic of today's video is about the mind. What it is, what it isn't, and why it exists. Exposing the mind. I think we need to really understand what is the mind. To comprehend what I'm about to tell you, you will need to imagine a few things, okay? Alright, then here we go. Imagine that you are a mind. You are formless, and that you can't see anything, you can't feel anything, you can't taste or smell. You can't speak or hear anything. Imagine existing in nothingness. No up, no down, no direction, no gravity, no light. Even darkness doesn't exist there. Here in this nothingness, this place that has no existence, you, as mind, all you have is thought. And your only connection to what we imagine ourselves to be are the body's five senses. And how the input from these are transmitted into data, and the data into thoughts, and the thoughts are then transferred back to the mind. Because as the thoughts come from somewhere, they must go somewhere. That doesn't mean they have substance, as there is no substance in the self or the I, but are used in describing our reality and are impressionable to external inputs from each experience. This form of data that is thought arising from nothingness or so it seems, are the very products of our suffering. The thought, a product of the mind, is analysed consciously and acted upon. The outcome of the action is then transferred back to the mind in the form of processed thoughts. These processed thoughts are now catalogues, so to say, within the personality of this life, and are constantly used as mechanisms to interact with our constructed realities. Haven't you ever wondered where the thoughts are coming from? You can't find that place because it doesn't exist in our constructed reality. But we see the outcome of the phenomena of the mind through the actions brought about by the thoughts that are arising from it. Our minds don't know of our reality, but only know the things that keep us who we believe ourselves to be. Like Lego blocks, one thought stacked upon the other. Creating a self and a place for it to exist in. But why is it this way? Well, this is the dilemma of life. And why are we stuck constantly repeating the same mistakes through multiple rebirths until we learn our true nature? That our existence as we believe it to be is merely an illusion created by the constructs of our mind and that the personalities that we think we are are just that a thought and as a thought we truly never die the mind goes from one moment or from one thought to the next it must have always done this and it will keep on doing this until it is purified from the eons of Lego worlds and constructed thought personalities. So, ideally, the required action to overcome this is to unstack the constructed reality, those thoughts stacked one upon the other, to free the mind from the processes of attachment and desire, so that we may overcome the arisings of delusion. And how is this done? Well, by renouncing earthly things, by overcoming the ego, the self, the I. This is what drives people to become monks and nuns, holy gurus, shaman, etc. And by overcoming the imagined constructs that keep us forever turning in the circle of rebirth, aging and death. 
we will be able to move our consciousness to a higher state of reality that no longer have constructs of the repeated cycle of life and death. Now many viewers may find the concepts of rebirth, reincarnation and soul transference hard to take in, but this is due to many centuries of religious ideology that we are born and then die, and if we are good we go to heaven, and if we are bad we go to hell, and that we only have one life. So to better understand this, I will be doing the next video on the truth of reincarnation, soul passage and the transmigration. So until then, this has been Graham Sampton. Blessings to you all and I'll see you in the next video.